in a KXY4 News exclusive, a story of survival and strength. Probably the one phone call that I just never, I don't think any mother wants to get. A freak accident in June changed everything for them in an instant. And now a Sandpoint family is not only tied together by blood, but also by tragedy. Our Taylor Graham is here with this heartbreaking story you'll see only on KXOI4 News. And Taylor, you got to know this family in uh, the two and a half months that they've been through. They've seen so much more than any of us can really imagine. Leah Nadine, if you told Rebecca Link back in June she'd be taking her boys fishing this week, she probably would have said that would be a miracle. But today, that's exactly what she's calling her son Jade, her 13-year-old miracle. Just as the sun hits Round Lake, Dakota and Jade Harlow take a joy ride, and their mom Rebecca is struck by just how lucky she feels. There's one more memory, one more, one more moment that is absolutely perfect that I want to fold up and put in my pocket forever. From the shine on the water to seeing her boys do what they love, she's taking it all in, and she doesn't even pretend to relate to what Jade sees in this very moment. And he'll describe it's just total darkness, and then you feel terror and fear, and you go to open your eyes, and he'll open his eyes, and it's still nothing but blackness. That darkness began June 22nd. Rebecca got a call from the boy's stepmom. All she could formulate or articulate at that moment was Jade's been shot. They're putting him on life flight. And then the phone went dead. Imagine it. You're 90 minutes away from the hospital. You only know your 13-year-old's been shot. You don't know where or how or whether or not he'll survive. And when you get there, you learn it's even more heartbreaking than you could imagine. The shot that injured Jade came from a 12-gauge shotgun, accidentally fired by his 15-year-old brother, Dakota. I remember hearing the gun go off and the glass from the door shatter and seeing myself fall back. It wasn't until a surgeon came and told Rebecca he couldn't save Jade's eyes that she realized he'd been shot in the head. His family was forced to make the gut-wrenching decision to remove his eyes. He'd go blind. And Dakota decided if anyone was going to tell Jade, it should be him. That weight of responsibility carried by a 15-year-old boy. Dakota let him know. And in probably one of the most beautiful, heartfelt conversations I've ever seen between my boys. Jade says he instantly forgave his older brother, and the healing began. Two and a half months later, Jade still has 50 BBs embedded in his head and jaw. He lost part of his frontal lobe. Okay. The doctor said I'd be a, uh, a vegetable. I wouldn't be able to move my arms. I wouldn't be able to move my legs. I wouldn't be able to talk. But look at him today, proving those doctors wrong. I was reaching for the doorknob and then boom! I've shot in the face. Yeah. Pretty badass, right? And if you talk to Jade, you wouldn't know it. But he suffers from anxiety and insomnia. And his personality is heightened now. Okay. So part of losing a frontal lobe means that he doesn't have quite the filter that the rest of us would have <laughs> when expressing thoughts, feelings. The biggest loss has been his sight. What is it like for you to all be All I see is black. That's all you need to know. Because that's all I see. He sits in a sea of darkness every day. But some nights, when he's able to sleep, he dreams in color. He dreams of his guns, what blinded him just two and a half months ago. Yes, some people would probably say I am crazy to want to hunt and shoot again. In the days since, this family has relied on their faith. They're all going through counseling. And Rebecca says even if she knew back then what she does now, she wouldn't change a thing. I believe no matter what we would have done, at some point Jade would have been blind. But they're still grieving. As Jade grapples with the loss of his sight, Dakota struggles with guilt. And this mom has to balance both that darkness with the light of what comes next. Anybody, it doesn't matter our age, it doesn't matter your skill level, accidents happen. And even though this accident had the power to tear their family apart, it's bound them even closer together because even in the darkest moments, 
they find beauty in this tragedy. You know, this was just another event that took place that could have turned out much worse. But not a single one of us are promised tomorrow. Such a wonderful family, and there are some big milestones for Jade coming up. Next month, he'll get a prosthetic skull to cover the part where his frontal lobe used to be. And on Saturday, Sam's Produce in Sagal will host a benefit barbecue to cover Jade's medical costs. It's from noon to four. Raffle items and cash donations will be accepted. For all the details and the full story, you can head to our website at kxly.com. In studio tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.